So were these subpar 2.5 rep parallel squats worth it? The answer to that question is absolutely. Not because I got hurt, but because I learned a very valuable lesson that far extends getting injured. So for me to explain this very valuable lesson as clear as possible as I can, I'll be using school as an example to explain what I've been experiencing. So in school, you're given homework or material, and by a certain due date or exam date, you're expected to perform or have this assignment due by this time. These are deadlines set not by yourself, but some other third party, AKA school. So whether you wanna go out and party or whether you wanna to go to the cinema and watch a movie with your friends, you might not be able to do so because you have to spend time and energy sacrificing for this academic goal. Because you want to reach your academic goal, you're not going to get drunk at that party or you're not going to go to the cinema with your friends because you prioritize this goal more than the short term, which is anything but studying. This exact sacrifice is what I call a grind, where you have a goal and you want to go from point A to point B regardless how you feel because you're super determined to get to the end result which in our example is the good grade. Anyone successful in anything has experienced this feeling, the grind, the workflow, whatever you want to call it, it's all the same thing. So obviously it's not the first time you've heard this concept before. And if it is, I'm sorry, it has to be like this through a shitty YouTube video. But anyways, in the state of a grind, when you take out that emotional component to doing something, you don't get that crappy feeling when you get a bad grade and you tend not to feel the lows. On the other hand, you also don't have that positive high when you start to feel great about something like get a good grade. And ultimately, your emotional stability does not depend on the outcome of your workflow. And before I get any further with this discussion, I wanna state that this is not the case for everyone I am simply trying to explain how I feel, and this is my circumstance specifically. So don't get me wrong, this grind mentality is extremely important to becoming successful in anything you do. It's what creates resilience, and it's what ultimately sets you up for opportunity. But what people aren't going to tell you is that this mentality really is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it will set you up for success, while on the other hand, it might even ruin your passion. Unless, of course, you take a moment to step back and to live in the moment. So you're probably sitting there thinking, wait a minute, what the hell does this have to do with my back injury? Yada yada. So I got injured by not really being engaged, caring about my body, and just pushing myself to be better, to get back to where I was in terms of powerlifting numbers, and to build upon where I was before. I wanted to get better, but I didn't want to put the time in to regress, and all I really cared about was the end result being better and that's all I'm focused on and that's like the complete opposite of living in the moment and so I paid for it with a lower back injury and what person is better to bring up about being in the moment than the man himself Jeremy Lin for a very short spree Jeremy Lin has had some of the best playing minutes of his career unfortunately he claims that these minutes were not enjoyed in the moment and that he was just pushing to push get better just to get better not enjoying or smelling the roses of the current time that he was in. Over the course of a couple of playing seasons and getting injured, his numbers drop and he's been ditched by the NBA. After being ditched by the NBA, this really made Jeremy Lin reflect on everything he had and everything he lost. And so after a series of CBA basketball and a couple of games in the G League, Jeremy Lin is not far off from coming back. Note, he's not officially made it back, but at least his attitude is different. Check us out. Um, I'm, I'm not saying just tonight. I'm saying everything, every moment, every day. And I just want to be in a moment. And I think, uh, yeah, God's given me the, 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 the legs and the health and the talent to keep playing professional basketball. And so I'm just trying to go out there. Honestly, I'm trying to go out there and just have as free of a mindset, as fun of a mindset. That realization that Jeremy Lin described is a similar realization to one I had where I've injured my back. Not because I could have got significantly injured, but because powerlifting is really a short-term career. Lifting in general is a short-term career. Age catches up to you and you're not going to be lifting forever 
and the only thing you're gonna have at the end of this are your memories and experiences. Now, I don't want this takeaway from this message to just be about powerlifting or basketball, but I believe anyone caught in this loop of just doing things to grind, to get from point A to point B, and to not realize that, hey, you may be in a unique position that you might not ever be in again, and you're missing out just because you want more. I get it, you can't have passion all the time, but at some point, you have to be able to take a step back, realize what you have, and smell the roses. So I hope you enjoyed this TED Talk. You know, I give TED Talks on the weekly these days. It's from last week. But anyways, I'd like to remind you to give this video a like if you liked it, subscribe, and share the video. We're not quite done yet. I'm gonna give you an update on my lower back. I think I may have strained a muscle in my lower back, but I gave it some rest and doesn't hurt when I squat, doesn't hurt when I deadlift. As for my squat form, yes, I'm still playing around with my form, trying to hit depth. I know I'm missing depth, but I will hit it. I'm probably gonna put the bar a little bit higher so I can use a bit more quads in the bottom of my squat. One last thing is live in the moment. Enjoy yourself, enjoy your time on this planet. You're not gonna have another life. So if you're not enjoying your current position because you don't have money, you don't have a girl, or you don't have some sort of projective thing that's supposed to bring value to your life, the chances are that thing is not gonna give you happiness unless it's like a cure for cancer. But anyways, Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out. I'm gonna play some fails um, earlier this week. I'm just gonna move on like nothing happened. Just cool into the mouth. Nice.